Hi everyone, welcome to Danny Kitchen's Mafia. Today, after work, we're gonna have the employee meal after busy night. So today we're gonna do the um, papaya salad platter, or we call in Thai language is tam thak. So the, the the papaya salad platter is has many components that um eat together with a papaya salad. So first we're gonna do the um, green chili relish or we call in um, northern Thai language is um, Nam Prik Num. So we start with the um, green pepper relish or Nam Prik Num. So we grill the probano pepper or green pepper. We grill the whole garlic. We grill the couple of the red shallot. After we grill, so we peel the skin off. So now we grill the skin off the green pepper. We try to um, keep all the meat as much as we can. So we grill everything because we need the smoky flavor or smoky smell from the charcoal. Also you can roast it in your oven but um, like I said it's better taste and better smell with the charcoal. So this is the traditional style in northern style. So we peel the shallot skin. If you see inside it's still white color so that means after we grill and we peel everything off we gonna mix everything in the mortar and pesto and we gonna get all the sweetness from the green bell pepper from the shallot from the garlic so we don't use the sugar at all so we put everything together and ready to put in the mortar so like I said this one is um, the side order of the papaya salad that we're gonna make tonight and we start to put the garlic and the shallot in the mortar and try to smash slowly and not to mince it so just smash to release all the sweetness or the liquid of the garlic and the shallot that's the key of the of the dish and then we put the the green bell pepper and try to mix everything with the spoon so just try to do the everything into the paste so mix everything up together and then we're gonna put the salt just a little bit to taste so try to put little by little because the salt or saltiness we cannot change or we cannot adapt so we put little by little and after that this is the the salt the iodized salt that we put in after that um, we put the good quality of the fish sauce this one is um, Vietnamese fish sauce and then mix together so we add a little bit of spiciness from the Thai bird chili and then mix it up if you like more um, spiciness you can add more the Thai bird chili if you like uh, more salt you can add more salt or fish sauce just do whatever you like 
and then we garnish on top with the fresh cilantro leaf. So this one is um, we call um, green pepper relish or nam prick nom in Thai language. Another component that we do is um, boiled egg. So we put salt into the water and then we put room temperature egg into the water and then we turn on the heat to the medium heat and wait until water is boiling. We prepare the ice water bath ready for our egg when it's done and we will set the timer to 6 minutes for the egg that we want. So when 6 minutes we will turn off the heat and we will transfer the egg to our ice water bath to stop cooking. Now we try to um, peel the eggshell and the reason we put the salt into our water before because the salt is going to make the eggshell easy to peel and then another trick is um, peel under the water is make your life more easy. So the eggs ready, so we're gonna check inside. We cut, split our egg in half. If you want um, the egg yolk more um, liquid, so you can set the time to five to five minutes and a half. So now it's depend, depend on um, the level of the egg yolk that you want to cook. Another side dish that we make is we're gonna fry the Vietnamese pork sausage that you can find in um, Asian grocery. We fry until um, the surface is crispy and golden brown and then we're gonna dry the oil out and set aside waiting for next step another side dish is pork cracking or crispy pork skin so this one is ready to use ready to fry we're gonna put in the deep fry and we set the oil temperature between 325 to 350 degree Fahrenheit and waiting for the pork skin is ready and we drain out all the oil and set aside Things we have to do can wait. We now we're gonna make the papaya salad. So we pick the green papaya that you can find in um, Asian grocery store or Asian market. So we peel off the green skin. We wash with the water and then we use the knife, chop up on the meat and then we slice the meat of the papaya to the shredded 
papaya meat and then we're gonna put the shredded papaya into the ice water to clean it up and make it crispy so when we make the papaya salad we're gonna have the nice and crispy texture of the papaya salad we drain off the water and we ready to make another side dish is called Saiwa or Northern Style Thai Pork Sauces so we're gonna use the bamboo stick pinch or the sauces to make a little hole and then we put on the grill the reason why we don't want our pork sauces is broken during the time we grill and we're gonna grill both sides until it's cooked and nice have the nice color and during the time we grill we're gonna make the papaya salad all the ingredients for the papaya salad is a couple cloves of the fresh garlic uh, we smash with the pesto we put a, a little bit of the Thai bur chili and we smash so if you like more spicy you can add more but again if you make spicy it's difficult to fix so better to add little by little so in um, Thai street food so all the traditional um, chef so they use the mortar to sharpen the knife so and then we use the tomato we squeeze the fresh lime juice and then we gotta smash the little of the lamb skin to the papaya salad this is the very traditional um, Thai papaya salad so we use the salted crab this one you can find at the Asian grocery store or Thai market like I said this one is um employee meal mostly employees um, Thai people so we familiar with the salted crab and then we're gonna add the nam para or um, Thai anchovy this one is a um, very um, traditional and very popular in um, Thailand or the region of Thailand northern south northeastern or um, center of Thailand and then we add a little bit of the good quality of the fish sauce we mix together add some sugar smash softly and uh, mix everything together and then um, we taste so we add a little bit of sugar to make um, a little bit of the sharp of the sweetness and then we add the fresh shredded papaya into the mortar and then we mix it up and we smash so mix well all the liquid of each ingredient gonna come out and make all the papaya salad is like umami taste so the final we have to taste so we're gonna put in the big plate we try to put our papaya salad at the center because we're gonna surround it with all the side dish that we made look at that very tasty and we need some more um, starch that we already um, blow the vermicelli noodle or 
we call in Thai language is Kanom Jin. That is our starch to be our side dish. So we put on the sides of the papaya salad. So many many people maybe put some um, sticky rice. We put the uh, the boiled egg that we already made. So like I said, this one is a many many um, side dish. Okay, our pork sausage is ready. So we're gonna make sure everything is cooked both sides, and then we're gonna slice and put. On the size of our papaya salad. So before we finish, uh, I have to say thank you to Chef Jesse that um make all the incredible and uh, amazing Thai papaya salad platter for our employee meals. So Chef Jesse is um. The chef de cuisine of Nayara, Miami, that um, very famous Thai and Japanese restaurant in South Florida. So we put on the side of the papaya salad, try to uh, make the beautiful plate, and then we put our Vietnamese pork. Sauces that we already fry on the side, and then we're gonna put the fry pork skin on the plate in the last ingredient. That was our incredible Thai papaya salad platter with um, spicy green chili relish or nam prignum. Testing time. After done, everybody come to enjoy our papaya salad platter. I'm gonna ask one of our employees to explain this dish. Okay, so right, this is the after work meal that we are having for the family meal. So, what are we getting? It's like the um, papaya salad with all the um, complementaries come along with it, with like rice noodles, salted, um, and then we got the. Um, Fried pork. We got the um, northern style sausage, spicy sausages. We got the pork rind in here. We got the um, boiled egg and um, lobster and shrimp garlic sauce that come with it. Those are really good. One of the best dishes I ever have. So all right. So after this, we're gonna do this almost every day for the family meal. So if you guys would like to join us, hit us up, hit him up, and then he can pro provide that for you too. Thank you for watching Danny Kitchen Mafia tonight. So hope you guys enjoy, and you know how we eat after the busy service for our employee meals. So if you like this video, please share and please subscribe my channel, Danny Kitchen Mafia YouTube channel, to your friend and your family on your social media, and we will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Things we have to do